Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to install Android into a virtual PC. So, from your Hyper V Manager, you have to create a hard drive, virtual hard drive. So you can choose any format, VHD or VHDX, doesn't matter. So you can choose up to your choice, fixed size or dynamic expanding. So I always choose dynamic expanding. Then you have to name your virtual drive. In that case, I'm going to give the name is Android. And you can choose a location where you want to save your virtual hard drive so in that case my location is on my e drive then click next and now you have to choose how big or the size of your hard drive so in that case i'm going to choose only Twenty gig for this drive. Oh, no, click see. next and click finish. So you know why you created your virtual hard drive. Now you have to create your virtual machine from your server. Right click and click new and go to virtual machine and click next and you can name your virtual machine which in that case I'm gonna put Android and also you can choose where you want to save your virtual machine so in that case uh, my virtual machine will be saved into drive E under users public documents hyper v and vm virtual machine and i'm going to create a new folder for that android and i'm going to select that folder to save my virtual machine and click next and there is a two different of virtual machine you can choose generation 1 and generation 2 so depends what you want so click next how much memory you want to uh, allocate for that virtual machine in that case I'm gonna choose 512 and click next actually choose dynamically allocated also and for network connection you can choose new virtual switch and click actually choose the windows emulator i'm gonna run my windows emulator as well by the time Okay. and click next and now you have to choose instead of creating a new hard drive because you already created the virtual hard drive choose using existing virtual hard drive and go browse and choose the name you gave your virtual hard drive which in that case android and click open and click next and finish so your virtual machine has been deployed now you have to install android into your virtual machine by right click and click go to settings and under your android hardware settings go to dvd drive and use image file so choose the location of your your android image which in that case it is in my D drive development 
Android x86 4.4 RC1 ISO so click open and click apply and click OK now you go back to your virtual machine list and double click Android and click start and it will be starting so it will give you three option in the beginning live CD run Android x86 without installation live CD VES mode debug mode and install Android into hard drive so in that case you have to choose install Android x86 to your hard disk so click install then you have to create a partition for your Android so create and modify partition so go back go to new and primary and choose whole disk and also choose as this is a bootable and then you have to write it and type yes enter and is going through write the partition table to the disk it's done now you have to quit and now you can see your SDA1 Linux virtual hard drive partition so now click enter and format the hard drive as a ext3 and yes and it will go through the formatting it will take a moment to format the virtual hard drive before is going through the installation okay formatting is done it asks me do you want to install bootloader grb yes and do you want to install system directory as a read write you say yes okay so android being installed successfully now just choose reboot and click exit and it will reboot the system but you have to choose your media I mean you have to disconnect your media well, otherwise just keep uh, booting from your CD-ROM so you have to turn off your virtual machine and eject the ISO file from your media and start the virtual machine again and now it will give you your bootloader and you can choose Android x86 4.4 RC1 and it will go through and here is the Android in your virtual machine in Hyper-V Okay is done now as usual windows it says unfortunately bluetooth chair has stopped because no bluetooth adapter connected into my machine so choose english and click the arrow 
and it will welcome you to the Android platform. Okay, it won't see a Wi-Fi network because I don't have any Wi-Fi adapter hooked up to my host machine so we can skip that part and skip anyway and it asks for Google location service date and time you can choose Eastern Standard Time my location and you can fix the current date is fine the current time you can fix the time but i'm going to skip that part and google service and here welcome make yourself at home and click ok and also ok here is android in a virtual machine here is your all the app center your google playlist settings gmail all your and the google drive that's all today so you know how to install android in your virtual machine now